Using columns to break text up and change the standard top to bottom layout of text on a page can add interest and make a document look more attractive and also make it easier and more interesting to read. So what we'll do is have a look at a couple of ways that we can do this, very very straightforward. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is highlight all of the text. Now we can either click and drag all the way down uh, or the quicker way of doing it is to hold the control button down and press the letter A which highlights all. So once we've highlighted everything in order to uh, change columns what we need to do is to pop up to the page layout ribbon and once we've chosen the page layout ribbon we can see columns are selected. We can now click on that little menu and choose the number of columns that we want. We don't want too many columns or it looks a bit silly. Uh, we'll just stick with two columns for the moment and automatically we can see that our document has been selected and formatted into two columns. The alternative to formatting the entire document into two columns is to perhaps just highlight the first three paragraphs or the first couple of paragraphs and select those, format them into two columns so that the text starts in columns and then perhaps after a picture becomes standard left to right text. So by breaking the document up into different columns uh, then we can create uh, some kind of interest. What we can also do perhaps is to highlight the first paragraph and I did that by triple clicking so that's one two three and that's the whole paragraph selected and then I'm going to go to home and embolden that first paragraph so it creates a bit more emphasis so using columns to increase interest in text uh, break up the width of text so that it becomes a little bit more readable